Well, you have an LG Smart TV with uh, WebOS, and one of your apps is not working. Maybe one of your apps is just not loading, or it's constantly buffering, or it's frozen, unresponsive. Maybe you get a black screen. Maybe you even get like an error message. I'm going to give you guys like nine solutions to get you up and running right now. So it doesn't matter which app is not working. Maybe it's Netflix, Prime Video, Disney, Hulu, Sling, YouTube, and so on. Anyways, the first step is this. What I want you to do is while your TV is on right now, I want you to go and unplug it right now. So go ahead and unplug it just like that. Wait for one minute. After one minute is up, I want you to go back and plug your TV back into the outlet. And your TV should turn on right away. And once it's on, go ahead and open up the app and hopefully you are up and running. If you're not, we're going to go to step number two. All right, so for step number two, I want you to do the same thing again. I want you to go ahead and unplug it while the TV is on. So the TV is on. I'm going to go ahead and pull the plug. Now, I want you to go to wherever your modem and your router is in your house. Okay, now most of you guys probably have a, mo a modem with the router in it. It's one device, okay? For me, I have my router and my modem separately. So what I got to do is go ahead and unplug both of these plug the router and the modem okay now like I said if you have the the uh, the modem with the router in one unit just unplug it so right now I have the router the modem and my TV unplugged wait five minutes after five minutes is up first thing is go ahead and plug in your modem and your route and your router after you plug it in the modem and router now go back and plug in your TV uh, don't don't forget to wait five minutes. Okay, so you have the TV unplugged and your router and your modem. Wait five minutes. Then first thing is plug in your router, your router and your modem. Then plug your TV back in. Your TV should automatically turn on. And once it does, what you want to do is wait like three or four or five minutes. Wait till it connects back to your internet. Then go ahead and open up the app and see if you are up and running. If you're still not up and running. We're going to go to step number three. So the next thing we're going to do here is we're going to see if there's an update for your LG TV. So what I want you to do first is go ahead and grab your remote and you need to go to settings. So you can click on the settings a button right here, the gear icon. Let's tap on that. And then on the right hand side, you see all those icons. Let's go ahead and move all the way down to where it says all settings on the very, very bottom there. Actually, it's three dots on the bottom right hand side. Go all the way down. Then it changes to all settings. Go ahead and click on OK. Now, what I want you to do, look on the left-hand side. I want you to go all the way down to General. And now, tap to the right of the remote. And now I want you to go all the way down. Go all the way down until you see About TV right here. Tap on OK on the remote. And now you can see it says Check for Updates. If you just move down one with the down arrow, check for updates go ahead and click on OK let it check for an update now if you have an update go ahead and proceed to download it and install it okay once it's done go ahead and open up your app see if you're up and running okay now if you don't have an uh, an update like I'm not gonna have an update if you give it a second here it's gonna say it's already up to date if your uh, LG TV is already up to date then we're gonna move on to the next step or if you updated it and then you installed it and everything and it's still not working then we're going to move to the next step here and you can see mine says no updates found so let's move to the next step now all right so for the next step here what we want to do is we want to reset your network connection so go into settings and then you can go to all settings again or an easier way is uh, just press on the gear icon and then what you want to do is just go all the way down instead of going to all settings it's easier if you just go to network right here the purple icon click on ok now go ahead and move over to the right on the remote and then go down to where it says Wi-Fi connection. Go ahead and click on OK once you highlight it. Now you can see the check mark. I have ITSH guest. That's my home network that I'm currently on right now. What I'm going to do is go highlight it and I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. Okay. Now once I click on OK, it's going to go ahead and boot me off of my Wi-Fi. Now what I got to do is go ahead and get back on this uh, Wi-Fi name here and I have to put my password okay you don't see the check mark on there now because I'm not connected to the internet so let me go ahead and click on OK to my home network right here and let me go ahead and put in my my password here 
And once you put your password in, I want you to go over to enter and press on OK on the remote. And now wait for it to connect. Now you see the check mark there. I'm connected. I'm reconnected to my home Wi-Fi network. Now go ahead and go back to your home button and open up the app that you're having issues with. And hopefully you are up and running now. If you're not, we're going to go to the next step. All right, so for this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall and then reinstall the app that you're having issues with, okay? So for instance, let me just move the Disney here, okay? I'm going to move the Disney. I'm going to uninstall this and then reinstall it. So I'm going to go ahead and move it over, and you can see it's moved up. Now what I want you to do is I want you to press and hold the OK button. Press and hold it until it goes even higher like that. Now what I want you to do is with the uh, arrow down button, press on down. And then you see the X right there, okay? Now press the up up arrow, okay? Up. And now you get that little ghost on top of the X. Now go ahead and click on OK on your remote. Now, now it says, are you sure you want to delete Disney? I do. So I'm going to move over to the right where it says yes, highlight yes, and then click on OK. Okay, now my Disney is uninstalled. Now what I got to do is reinstall. So now what you want to do is you want to go back to this area here and you want to go all the way down to where it says LG content. Okay, see it in Fuchsia right there. So go ahead and click on OK. Wait for this to open up. Oops, sorry, I had to click on done up there. But let me go back to the, the um, LG content. I'll click on OK now. Now we got to do is find a particular app that you want to go ahead and reinstall. Okay, for me, I uninstalled Disney. Now I want to go ahead and reinstall it. Okay, so once you're here, what you want to do first is go all the way to where it says apps. Go ahead and press on OK. Highlight the apps. Then let's click on OK here. And then once you do that, after you see all your apps here, what you want to do is move over to the search. Click on OK. And then you want to type in... You want to go ahead and type in the... Uh, you want to do a search for whatever app that's not whatever app that you want to reinstall back okay so mine was disney so d i okay so i see it up here let, let me just move up i see disney plus that's the one i want to reinstall so let me just go down there's disney plus i'm going to go ahead and click on okay on my remote control let this load up okay now i'm going to go ahead and oops i'm going to go move back up here oh, let me go up one more right here so Okay, so once the all, the check mark is there, you see it like highlight it right there. Now just go ahead and move over and reinstall the whatever app, Netflix or YouTube or whatever. So here's Disney right here. Let me go ahead and click on the OK button here. Now let me just go down. Okay, here's Disney Plus right here. Going to go ahead and highlight it. So make sure that it is highlighted. Click on OK. Give it a second here. Okay, it's already highlighted. It says installs already highlighted. So go ahead and click on the OK button. Give this a second here to download. Now it's currently installing. Okay, now you can go ahead and click on launch or you can just go back to your, your home. Click on the home button and I should have Disney back on here as you can see right here. Okay, so now go ahead and open up the app and hopefully you are up and running. If you're not, we're gonna go to the next step here. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and change your IPv6 to on or off. Okay, so go ahead and click on your, your gear icon to get to your settings on your remote right here. Tap on that. You see on, that, on the right-hand side all those icons. We want to go near the bottom where it says network right there. That purple icon, it says network right there. So now I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And this will bring us into the network settings here. Okay, once we're here, you can see the network is highlighted right there. So move over to the right with the uh, arrow on your remote. And now go down to where it says Wi-Fi connection. And then click on OK. Now I want you to go down where it says Advanced Wi-Fi Settings. So go down, down, down. And then click on OK on the remote. And now here's your uh, IPv6, okay? Now you can see mine is currently off. If yours is off, what I want you to do is uh, click on the OK button, and I want you to go ahead and turn it on. Now I, I want you to go back to the app that you have issues with, open it up, and hopefully you are up and running. Now if you're not, what I want you to do is 
come back to here where it says IPv6, and I want you to put it back on off, okay? So click on OK. And this time we're going to go on off now. Now, go ahead and open up your app that wasn't working and see if it's working. Hopefully it is. If it's not, we're going to go to the next step. Now for this next step, what we're going to do is we're going to change our DNS server, okay? We're going to make it 8.8.8 .8 or 8.8.4.4. So 4 eights or 8844, okay? So what you want to do is you want to go back to this network setting here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to go down. You see the DNS server down here? What we want to do is we want to go down, highlight, edit. Go ahead and click on OK. And now you probably have it on set automatically right now with a check mark. So you're not going to be able to change your DNS server until you uncheck it. So it's highlighted right now. Let's click on OK to uncheck set automatically. Now we can change whatever we want here. So let's go down to this highlight DNS server. Click on OK. And now I want you to do this. Okay, so first thing is let's go to uh, clear all. Right here. So clear all. Oops. So the DNS server is cleared. Now I want you to go ahead and I want you to try this server first. Okay, so you want to go to eight dot eight and one more eight. So you can see I have eight dot eight dot eight eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Okay, so there's four eights. Okay. So now what I want to do is just go to connect so I can just use the arrows on my key and click on connect. I'm going to go ahead and click on OK. And now it's already connected. And how to double check that, just click on the back button on your remote. It says back right here. Click on the back and then we can see that's grayed out down here in the DNS server now is 8888. Okay, don't, don't forget the dots. Okay, now go ahead and go back into your app, open it up, see if it's working. Okay. If it's not, what you want to do is you want to go back to the DNS server, and instead of typing 8888, what you want to do is 8.8.4.4. So 8844. After you do that, try to open an app and see you're up and running. If you're still not up and running, we're going to go to the next step. So the next and last step I have for you is doing a factory reset. Don't forget if you do a factory reset, you're going to lose everything on your um, LG TV. It's going to be, sorry about that. My pizza just got in here. Anyways, what we want to do is a factory reset. Uh, basically, if you do a factory reset, it's going to be as if you've bought the LG TV brand new and took it out of the box. And then you have to do, after you do a factory reset, then you have to go ahead and do this whole setup process. You know, you have to choose your language. Then you have to put the passwords in to your Netflix and your Wi-Fi. You, you need to connect to your Wi-Fi, put the password in. Anyways, what we want to do is you can simply just go, you stay on the same page right here. You can go to all settings. And then what we want to do from here is we just want to go, oops, let me go back here. Okay, let me just start back over. So what you want to do is just click on the uh, settings, uh, settings um, button, the gear icon. Just tap on that. And then we'll just go all the way down to the very bottom where the three dots are on the bottom right hand side if we go down then it says all settings go ahead and click on OK and then wait for this uh, window to open up now we want to go down to general okay so go all the way down to general and then click on okay so once it's highlighted move over to the right and then from here what you want to do is you want to keep going all the way down until we see something that says reset here we go right here it says reset to initial settings okay so go ahead and click on OK now you want to go ahead and proceed. You want to go ahead and move over to the right and click on OK. I'm not going to reset. I'm not going to factory reset this TV, but you get the message. Once you go ahead and click on OK, it's going to do a factory reset. It's going to turn off. It's going to turn um, your um, TV back on. Then what you got to do is, you know, pick, choose your language, uh, set up your Wi-Fi with the password again, and then you need to put your, uh, with the apps, you need to put your password in. Anyways, go to the app that wasn't working now. Uh, make sure you put your password in and sign in. And then hopefully you are up and running, okay? Now, most of you guys will be up and running by the end of this uh, last solution here. Give me a thumbs up if it worked for you. If it didn't, give me a thumbs, out. thumbs down. Good luck, guys.